So tell me a little bit about Liberty Global's addressable product portfolio, Adrian. The main focus over the last year or so has been with addressable linear. We've had addressable VOD in the UK for quite a few years, but this year was really about uh, getting linear up and running on the Virgin footprint. So tell me, take me through sort of, it's December now, take me where you were at the start of the year in January versus where you are now as far as the size of the business, the products, etc. Well, at the beginning of the year, we were kind of getting a lot of the technology sorted. It was a two-year project in all, uh, working very closely with Caden uh, to deliver an addressable linear platform that had the same functionality as Sky's platform, which is already, of course, up and running. So at the beginning of the year, that technology was just being delivered, and then it went into kind of test phases and rollout over the summer, and now is up and running. Okay, so that's, that's very quick. So you had to mirror basically what Sky was able to do in order to be able to deploy on, on Virgin? Yeah, and, so, and Sky have a particularly sophisticated mechanism uh, and a particularly sophisticated way of doing addressable. And so we had to mimic that very quickly. So obviously we had a, a lot of meetings with Sky to sort out exactly what the functionality was. And then we had to mirror that on our platform. So our, the, the Virgin platform now behaves um, almost indistinguishably from the way the Sky platform behaves. So if someone buys a, uh, an addressable campaign across the two platforms, it, it behaves and delivers in exactly the same way on both platforms. So if someone uh, defines an audience on Sky's platform, the definition of the audiences will be identical on ours. So you'll get exactly the same kind of households. And also what the consumer sees and the way the set box behaves and uh, the way the set box delivers impressions and the way those impressions are measured and counted and everything is like for like with Sky's platform. So you've moved, you, the growth curve has been quick and fast in 2019. Tell me about what 2020 and 2021 look like for the rest of, of your footprint. Well, the UK will be consolidating because that's up and running now, but the, it'll, it's, it's already reached considerable scale, but uh, that scale will continue in, in the new year. So they, they have to uh, make sure they have the capacity to do that. So there's some work on that. But uh, in the rest of Europe, we're now looking to really roll out a very similar proposition to the other territories. So uh, we're focusing very much at the moment on, uh, on Belgium and doing groundwork to get it up and running in, uh, in NL, in the Netherlands. And you expect that to be the end of 2020, 2021? Sort of, will that be a slower ramp because you're defining your own specifications? It's very much a blueprint solution. So uh, there are, those other territories, frankly, will benefit from a lot of the work that was done in the UK. Um, so, uh, and, and there is a lot of pre-work to do uh, because I suppose the other thing I forgot to mention was that there was a long period of negotiations with Sky. There's a lot of commercial, there's a lot of technical arrangements to be made. There's a lot of uh, data protection issues to be covered. So for instance, in the Netherlands, there's plenty, plenty to do just in that kind of groundwork to make sure that we have a lot of the contractual work done before we can even start the technical work. Understand, okay. Um, and how large will that footprint be at the end, sort of when you get what, total? Netherlands? Yeah. Uh, I think the NL, the footprint will be around a million. In the, in the UK, we've got four million video subs, I think, and we're, we, you know, we, we'll be covering most of those in the next year or so. Okay. So it's a, it's a big footprint.